It seems like we spent every minute of that summer with him. There was canvassing. Hi, I'm Alice and I'm registering people to vote. And more training. <laughs> and when they saw how backwards our education was, they even taught us school classes. You see this book they gave you calls it The War of Northern Aggression. Now, it wasn't the war of Northern Aggression. It was the Civil War. I mean, who wrote this crap? SNCC called this a freedom school. We called it nonviolent high. And just like the SNCC workers took care of us, the community took care of them. Ms. Colton fed them whether they had money or not. He enjoys no money in your pocket. Money's no good. He enjoys something. Rides in Mr. Hart's taxi cab for free. Yeah. And of course, so are the haircuts. Never leave your house at the same time. And advice. Never take the same route two days in a row. Oh, yeah. Unscrew the dome light inside your car. That way, when you get in at night, they can't see who you are. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. It was late August, and it seemed like a new world was being born in Quinn. But my mind kept slipping away to the backwoods. See, this ain't like a Chicago, son. Let me put some of this peach jelly on this biscuit Thank you. I, I'm see, fine. I, I'm... Down here, white man don't mind you living next door to him. He just don't want you getting ahead in the world. Up north, he don't care if you get ahead in the world. He just don't want you living next to no And I want you to take some of these sandwiches with you. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Kids, come and say goodbye to your daddy. And don't you say no to Mr. Hart. Oh, you really didn't have to. Your mama would have done the same thing for my boys, I'm sure. Yeah, she would have. Now, you be careful. I will, baby. Let's go, Daniel. Uh -huh. My neighbor, Buddy Stone, the town supervisor and his clan. Would you believe my property worth more than his? Why? Uh, the farm that much bigger? No, quite a bit smaller. Why is it worth more? I don't live next door to cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't expect too much today now, Dan. A lot of folks scared. A lot of folks scared. But have you ever tried to register to vote, ma'am? Are you the fellow who got arrested? Yes, ma'am. You gotta be careful. They know you're here. There'll be classes to teach you how to register so you can vote. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's best I not be seen talking to you. I'm sorry. Well, it seems to me White people want a new school bus. They vote for it. <laughs> Until you can vote, they don't have any reason to give you one. Have you ever heard of the White Citizen Council? Yeah. They ain't had a meeting here in years. They had one a few days ago. Heard they were talking about Jonah. And you, sir. Jonah. Jess, maybe we better head on home. Some more houses down the road. This is getting kind of late, son. books in the library over the colored high school. You read all them yet? Yes, sir. Read every one of them. Now I'd like to read the white ones. Oh. If you attempt to use these facilities, you will be arrested. You understand? 
Do you understand? Yes, sir. Pepperwood, Joe. I still say we should do the bus station. Did you see what happened to them Freedom Riders in Birmingham? I ain't doing no bus station. OK, now. You try to negotiate. Now, tomorrow morning, we go in, 10 a.m. sharp, in your Sunday best. OK? Hey, Mom, I'm going to the library. Lord, I know I'm your child. And I know you're going to be with me. Please give me the strength to do what I got to do. And the strength to be nonviolent. But don't test me too much, Lord, because I don't think I am. <laughs> Son. It was all the way back to that stake there. What's wrong where we at? Yeah, we don't own it. It's ours. What you know about building a house? Yeah, helped build a church once. You did? Yeah, Zion Baptist. You didn't know that? No, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, you were just a baby. But I figure that a house is just a church with smaller rooms. Oh. I heard. Folks talking. Oh, I'm talking about sit ins. Daddy, please try and understand. I have to do this. Banks making me a loan, you know. But they can call that loan any time or in any time they want. If you don't want to do it for me, do it for your mama. This is for her. You got to stay out of trouble now. Put our bucket down. Here you come. How you doing, brother? Glad you could make it. Yeah, well, I can't do it, Coleman. Say what? It's my father. He forbid it. Owen, I can't tell you to disobey your father, but you are 18, and it is your decision. Hey, if my parents would have forbidden me, I, I couldn't have come neither. Yeah, me too. But your parents said it was all right? Hell no. Nah. I ain't asked them. Me neither. No way my mama's gonna let me do this. Look, we always need somebody to stay out of jail so they can go back and report to the others what happened. That's your job today, OK? The next morning, we selected another target. Here they come. Where's Bo? Oh, mama worked there. He couldn't do this one. Told him I'd take his place. Good man. Got your toothbrush, your hairbrush. Yeah. Clean underwear, your socks. Mm -hmm. What's that? A Daniel gave it to me. That'll go good with jail food. Now remember, try to negotiate first. But don't give him time to trick you, OK? Good luck. Uh, excuse me, sir. You the manager here? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, look in here. We're we going to do a sit in. Your what? We want to get served at your lunch counter. Boys, do somewhere else first. Don't, don't do me first. I'll be second. Just do, do somewhere else first, OK? We tried. 
We can't get in nowhere else. Boys, don't do this. I'm sorry, mister. Be sorry. Excuse me. Could I have a cup of coffee, please? So how'd a guy like you get to be nonviolent? I'm not nonviolent. I practice nonviolence as a political strategy, because it works. But in my life, you mess with me, I'll beat you like a rented mule. Trying to buy a cup of coffee, Officer Road. That's all. Come on, get out of here. Not till we get our cup of coffee. You sassing me, boy? Just want a cup of coffee. Look, if you don't get out of here right now, I'm gonna arrest you. Is that what you want? What are the charges, sir? All right, that's it. You're under arrest, both of you. Let's go. Yes, sir. I'm gonna check on how they being booked. You find Tyrone, tell them to gather the others. It's meeting time. 